next one is tonight. And joining me to talk about the topic and also talk to our speaker, the Senior Counsel of the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, Corey Miner smith Good to have you here. Good morning. Thank you very much. It's my honor and pleasure to be oh, here with you. And it's always so great to it's see you, It's always good to Shandl, be with you. Uh, CEO of Davo. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, before we get to Corey, this speaker series is really uh, generating a lot of buzz. Yeah. You bring in some really great speakers yes. and topics. Right. Um, Talk us through what what it's all about. Well, it, the name speaks uh, to what it's about. We think people, if they get information and knowledge and find resources and deal with people like her who help us handle issues and resolve issues, that we don't just be griping. Uh, we'll actually find some way of being able to address the things that cause us agony and grief. And you have found an incredible speaker. Uh, yes. You're that, nationally known. Yes. Uh, you have some... Harvard Business School that has recognized you, but you've also done some training as it relates to mental health. Yes. So what, what are you hoping to accomplish with your audience tonight? Well, like with all audiences, my goal is to increase awareness regarding mental health for people to understand that severe mental illness specifically is real and that there are resources available in the community. So I look forward to bringing some great information uh, to the group tonight and uh, really appreciate having the opportunity to speak with you today. And you're a national speaker. This is a topic that um, you're well versed on, um, not just the training that you have, but also your own personal life experience. Absolutely. I have lived experience. I have a loved one that lives with uh, severe mental illness and it's very challenging, but it's manageable. And so my goal, especially in the black community, is for people to understand the resources that are available. My master's degree is in education, guidance and counseling, and I'm also trained with NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness. So I bring forth a lot of information based on research, but also based on my lived experience. Um, mental health is has been such an important topic that we have been talking so much more about since the pandemic. It has gotten worse. There are a lot of people that are continuing to suffer. Um, the awareness is there, but often we hear that the resources are not. Are we starting to see that gap being bridged? Well, there are tremendous efforts for that to happen. Um, there always need more money, always need more money, but we have to do what we can with the money that is available. And I believe it's important for organizations to collaborate. And when you can create a continuum of care with cooperating organizations, it's very helpful for families who are trying to help their loved ones. Again, specifically with severe mental illness, mm -hmm. but there are a wide range of mental health conditions that people have been impacted with, especially with the pandemic. Um, so it's important to understand that they're free that they're confidential, and most importantly, that we now have 988. Um, you mm -hmm. don't have to call 911, and it's important for the community to know that 988 is essential for a substance use uh, issue as well as a mental health crisis. Yeah. And you are a community activist. Yeah. Um, you are very uh, connected to this community, its needs, its changes. How have you seen the, the mental health crisis from, from your eyes. Yeah. Well, we provide services. By the way, I was part of the launch of 988. I'm in mean, the actual video uh, Q English put together as part of that. But, you know, we, uh, as she has m indicated, family members, I mean, I have to have a hands on approach. I try to be all things, all people according to their needs. So, uh, Erica Alexander, the actress, by the way, partners with us. We have Project Rainbows. We provide suicide prevention, mental health first aid. We're part of NAMI as well. So, I mean, these are the things that people deal with on a regular basis and to get to a place where uh, they can handle life on life's terms, we've got to provide access to abilities and trainings and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I love doing this. I love to be all things, all people according to their need. And, uh, you know, one of the things that affects us really is our mental health. Mm -hmm. And people, by the way, as a pastor, think you can pray it away or lay hands on folks or we know how to deal with them. No, people need professional training and professional mm -hmm. help. Well, let's talk about the event tonight, yes, how sure. people can attend, and moving forward yeah. with the speaker series. Well, we've got a great series. We've got uh, Fatima Cody Sanford coming, who isolated the fat gene, who actually treated Oprah Winfrey. She's, you know, from Harvard. But right now, we got this wonderful lady here who's a great advocate for mental health. It's uh, every month. It's free. It's the, the center that I uh, developed in honor of my sister, an old library. Beautiful place. You need to see it. 9928 Grand River. Just show up at 6 o'clock. Absolutely free. We got 
T-shirts, we got books, <laughs> and it's a great conversation. And we have people leave with some action items. What mm -hmm. can they do? Just to hear it and not do anything about it is not what we're trying to accomplish. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you have a book. I do. Hashtag driven with the Ford by Les Brown. Oh, very yes. nice. <laughs> and that'll be available. You said Absolutely. books. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. <laughs> well, we sell them at cost, too. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but you also get it autographed.